Hey there everybody, it's been a little while since I have shown a completed knife, so stay tuned and I'll show you a knife that I just completed along with a really cool sheath. Keep on watching. So here is the knife and sheath right here. As you can see, it's a very small little knife, not not very big at all. Um, I'll I'll show you the knife first. As you can see, it's a small small little knife. I didn't I didn't make this blade. Um, I am getting into making my own blades, of course. Now, and it won't be won't don't plan to buy too many more blades, if any. But this blade is a small little. Blade, I believe it's made in in Finland. It's it's a blade Polar brand is is the brand, high carbon steel, and this is really kind of a small little puko style knife. Um, I really love the the shape and the the design and all the history with with puko knives. And in fact, the puko knife that I, I bought off of eBay, just a cheap one, was what started my <clears throat> knife making ambition. I saw, hey, you know what? I can make a knife like that. It's a beautiful, classic-looking knife, uh, but uh, anyway, so <clears throat> that was a lot of years ago, of course. But uh, still, every once in a while, try to try to make one of these. And uh, this is just going to be a nice little carving or whittling knife. Um, I don't know if you can see very well. I, I did a peened bolster right there, and uh, you can kind of see a little bit there. But uh, this, uh, like I said, high carbon steel. It's a Scandi grind. With a slight micro bevel, I didn't do anything to the blade. It was already, already bought, already like that, and sharpened. And uh, of course, the wood. This is a really awesome wood. This is probably my favorite wood to use. This is curly birch, and uh, I don't know if you can tell. It's just really awesome. <laughs> you can hear my son, my son in the uh, the background there. But um, yeah, really, really turned out awesome. I'm gonna give this knife to a friend of mine. And, uh, you know, he's, he's going through some health issues now. And so I'm hoping uh, this will help him relax a little bit and he maybe get a little whittling. I think this would probably be a nice little whittling or carving knife. But I'd like to show you the sheath now. I'm really happy, really excited about this sheath. It's the first time that I've ever made a sheath like this. And it is a magnetic sheath. Magnetic. It has actually four little magnets in there. And you can see, like, um, it's... You, you can hear it connect there. Obviously, that's not where the blade goes. The blade, the blade goes in, in there like that. But it is just a nice little handy sheath. Um, this could actually work really well as a neck, a neck knife sheath. Uh, as you can see, you can imagine if I just uh, put some holes in there, put a little piece of string, it would work really good as a, as a neck knife. But uh, I decided to not not put a hole in there I'm just gonna you know use it just as a blade cover and a blade protection so yeah it turned out really well it has awesome retention like I mean there's no there's no budging it's the knife isn't even budging it's it's in there it's in there good and so um, really really neat design to, to get that it's, it's actually got one two three four five different layers including the welt and uh, so uh, you can see just uh, the little sheath here works works really awesome like I mean I really really like it turned out well so anyway really happy with this nice little knife and uh, gonna be hopefully a nice little carving knife for my friend help him uh, relax a little bit from stress and uh, anyway there's the one of the latest knives I have a have some other knives in the works some blades some blades that I've been working on and uh, including this one here, which I'm pretty pretty excited about. This is my first ever hollow grind on an eight inch wheel, and I don't know if you can see that too well, but uh, yeah, a genuine hollow grind. And uh, I tell you what, I was so surprised. It's not as hard as I thought. I, lots of practice needed still, a lot of work to do to get a good hollow grind. But uh, right now, I'm just I'm really pleased with that hollow grind. And uh, that's the ugly side. Here's the here's the better side. But uh, yeah, anyway, so excited to 
get that blade heat treated soon and uh, keep on going with a few knife making things as I have the time. And uh, anyway, appreciate you watching the video. Hope you'll give it a thumbs up, like if you like the video, subscribe or comment below, and uh, tell me what you think about this new little Puko style knife. Thanks again. Have a great day.